The indispensable ingredients are water, milk, coffee ground for an espresso coffee maker. Follow the instructions below carefully. Prepare an excellent cappuccino. Fill the tank with water up to the lower reference mark indicated inside. For this, you can use the measuring device inside the box, filling it up to the indicated mark. Insert the filter basket and fill with ground coffee. Don't press the coffee down and be careful not to leave any bits of coffee on the edges of the filter basket and tank. Screw the upper part onto the tank tightly without putting any pressure on the handle. Open the lid and pour in the milk up to the level indicated inside the upper part. Close the lid and press the button to activate the pressure valve. Place the product on the stove using a medium high heat, keeping the lid closed all the time. If you use an electric or pyroceram plate, use a medium high heat suited to the tank diameter. Once the cappuccino is made, we advise you to leave the mocha on the hot plate for a few minutes so that the coffee can heat up to the right temperature. When the cappuccino is made, remove the mocha from the hot plate and pour out, distributing the liquid and froth evenly between both cups. Cleaning the mocha, and in particular the pressure valve, is one of the most important operations. Each time you make coffee, we recommend that you dismantle the pressure valve by turning it anti-clockwise until the steam outlet coincides with the zero symbol indicated inside the upper part. Remove the valve, pulling it upwards, and wash it under running water. To assemble the valve, position the steam outlet on the zero symbol indicated inside the upper part. Turn the valve until the one symbol. Make sure the valve clicks into position to guarantee that the pot is completely safe for making coffee. To get the best results from the product when it's new, make and discard three pots of coffee, also without milk. Mocha Express is perfect for making cappuccino and it improves with constant use. <laughs>